Okay, I thought I'd make a little documentation here of the um, breadboarded cap pulser for the Emotep Radiant Oscillator fan light. And I finally got it working today. But man, that was a bear. And that was not easy for me to understand or do. Now this is the circuit that um, we're involved with right now, the group at the Energetic Forum. And it's basically a John Bedini um, design. And we have to be careful that uh, John gets credit for this because this was really mostly his work. But what we're working on right now, uh, some of us, are the cap pulser part of this that pulses the energy into the charge battery. You've got the drive battery that runs the circuit and does the light and, of course, the fan, too, if it's in the circuit. And this is the charging part of it, which for me was very hard for me to understand how that worked. But anyway, I decided to go this direction is uh, just breadboard it like that. And these plug in and plug out these wires. They come in a little package like this, so it makes doing the circuit real easy. And you can change your components, your capacitors and resistors in that breadboard to see what happens. And that's the pulse going on right now, and the potentiometer lets you increase that pulse, which is loading up the energy into the capacitor before it puts it into the charging battery. But uh, right now, the actually, the oscillator is running, and uh, there's not making any noise, but the fan's been turned off, and the light's turned on. Now, I can turn the light back on. You see the oscillator's still doing its thing. It's got all the components here. There's the the ignition coil and the drive battery and then the Bedini circuit that I'm using uh, is in that fan right there. It's a standard Bedini circuit. It's a little different than what's on that circuit diagram. But the, yeah, it's, it's charging up this battery um, with that circuit and if I turn the light off I get uh, much better charging because it's not pulling a load on this system. It's all going into the charging which is real neat and this thing does work but I wanted to show you the, the mess that this made. This is my kitchen table. And look at all the stuff here. And these are all the components and the parts and uh, meters and all of these things and all the circuit diagrams that I've gone through over and over and over again trying to figure out how this whole thing worked. And this is how it started out. That little simple diagram was how Emotep uh, started this whole project and uh, that's how we all got started was a, a battery and a relay and um, actually goes like that the battery and the relay and the light um, very simple and it's gone into this very complicated circuit that I now have working but anyway when it all gets done and all this stuff gets sorted out it's going to end up uh, as a unit with the box and the fan and all this stuff compiled together. But anyway, that is the um, cap pulser that uh, takes the energy into a little, what they call a 555 timer circuit, uses capacitors and some resistors, and a variable resistor, and puts it into a thing called an optic opti isolator or opti opticoupler which isolates the 555 timer from the charging circuit. And this is a silicon-controlled rectifier that does the switching, putting it into the capacitor, then dumping it into there. It's very hard for me to understand. This little um, transistor here helps the uh, uh, rectifier trigger. But uh, I learned a lot. This was a very good learning experience, and I, I recommend this for anyone who's interested in electronics and um, is curious about how things work. Uh, this little project for me was just wonderful to experience a lot of theory and dynamics on why things do what they do and how they do what they do. And I do recommend this for, for anybody who's curious about electronics.